If you are thinking of trying out XTB's trading platform, definitely watch my video from A to Z. I've been testing them out for a little while. I'm gonna give you my opinion, give you some basic information that you'd want to know about them before trying them out. I'm also including a link in the video description below. So if you wanna use that, friends, it was gonna, what it's gonna do is it's gonna guarantee you the best lowest trading fees if and when you create your account. And then depending on your area, there may be a current welcome offer too. And that link is constantly updating. So any current welcome bonus offer, the best one will be made available to you when you use that link to sign up, just so you know. So what is XTB? Well, it's an online trading platform that basically lets you trade a bunch of different assets. Some of these are the things that you can actually see on stock markets like foreign currencies, commodities, stocks, things like that. However, what I'm interested in is the fact that XTB lets you trade cryptocurrencies. And if, you, if you've seen the rise in the value of Bitcoin over the past couple of years, you'll know that this is a pr pretty cool thing. Okay, but first I should make an important point. You might be reading this from anywhere, you know, from the US to the UK or somewhere in between, or even the moon for all I know. But wherever you base, there are different laws about how you're actually able to use trading sites like XTB. So just keep in mind that that you know obviously you're going to be always uh, you're always going to be limited by the laws of your area. Simply put, CFDs aren't allowed everywhere. All right. So now what are CFDs? So these are actually called the contracts for difference, and it basically gives you a way to benefit from trading in the value of an asset rather than actually owning it. So for example, let's just say you wanted to buy Bitcoin at XTB. Well, here you'd be able to make a profit on the price movement of the crypto without actually having to own it. This is actually pretty good because what it means is that it speeds up the whole trading process and you can even deal in fractions of things like a cryptocurrency or like a stock. Uh, I should also mention the fact that you can obviously lose money when dealing in CFDs, but that goes without saying really. Okay, so what does XTB have their CFDs for? Well, it looks like XTB lets you trade on the value of, of CFDs for all of the biggest cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even Dogecoin, which is pretty amazing. Other big CFDs include CFDs for stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, and there are a lot more companies like that as well. There's also the option to trade in the value of commodities for everything from gold and silver to even coffee, sugar, and oil. Uh, if you want to trade currencies like the dollar, euro, things like that, you can do all that on XTB. So that's a little look at what you can trade. How about taking a look at what it's actually like to use the XTB trading platform? So you obviously start off by creating your account, which just means giving your email, starting, uh, uh, stating rather, your country of residence, making up a password, and then you have to provide some personal information like your name, date of birth, all that good stuff. Now, once you've done this, all you need to do is put some money into your account. Now, I personally did this from my PayPal account because it was super easy. Other payment options though, because there are a bunch, include regular credit cards, bank transfers, uh, and there's a bunch more you can look on the site. And bear in mind that there will be there will be fees for moving your money around. So I was hit with a 2% fee on my PayPal deposit, unfortunately. Uh, you can actually sidestep the deposit fees if you deposit through a debit card. The good news is that there aren't any fees for making withdrawals. The bad news is that you can only withdraw through a bank transfer. Uh, this means that it could take a few working days for the money to actually come back into your account. Now, personally, after I put the money in my account, I was ready to start trading. So this meant using the actual XStation5 web trade platform. Uh, you can just fire this straight up from your browser like I'm doing uh, behind me. Okay, but when you first see the trading page, it can look a little scary, uh, but it's actually really easy to navigate once you make a little, you know, get, just get a little practice in. For example, you can just pull up a chart of any asset that you're thinking of trading, and you'll get to see how its value has grown or fallen over a period of time. And it's actually fairly hypnotizing watching the value of your asset getting updated in real time. Once the market has moved the way you like, you can just hit the buy or sell icon. Pretty simple. There's a bunch of other analytical tools here too that you can kind of confuse yourself with or dabble with if you, if you can if you know how to use them. Uh, I didn't go too deep into these, but I did like the tools that let you do things like stop limits and things like that. Oh, I should mention the fact that this XStation trading platform is also available for mobiles. So you can download it to your iPhone, Android device, you know, whatever you have. And there's also the option to use the MetaTrader 4 platform, which is good news if you're actually familiar with that trading software. Now, any trades you make that actually like, you know, gain you profit, that profit will be added right into your account. Uh, from here, you can let your money either rest there or just withdraw it straight back to your bank account. Something worthy of taking note of too is the customer support in XTB is pretty good. You can get in touch with them 24 seven, either over live chat, telephone, email, whatever works for you. Uh, and there's a bunch of guides on the site too. Uh, you know, a lot of FAQ coverage. So you should be able to learn without e learn how to use the whole site without even ever having to reach out to customer support for the most part. And XTB is definitely one of the more trustworthy online trading platforms, I have to say. It's regulated by some really big financial regulators, for example, like the FCA in the UK. And this is actually a pretty big deal because lots of crypto trade 
trading sites operate without any kind of regulation, which gives you nothing in the way of protection. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that XCB has been around for 15 years, so they're not some you know newbies in the block. Okay, so far so good. Are there any catches? Kind of. Well, I've already pointed out to you that CFDs you know aren't um, allowed everywhere. Uh, plus, there are some costs to think about. So let's say you are to trade um, a Bitcoin CFD, right? So here you'll get hit with a trading cost, a pretty minimal one, but of about 0.22%. Not a lot, but these can rise up, so just keep your eye on it. I'm not actually going to criticize XTB too much because it does a pretty good job of being an online trading platform. Simply put, I think the best thing about XTB is that it looks great, works smoothly, and is a whole lot more trustworthy than a lot of crypto, shady crypto trading platforms. Plain and simple, I liked how fast it was to go from setting up my account to actually executing my trades. While the CFD trading model might sound a bit confusing, it actually makes everything super fast and easy. As long as you remember that there will be some fees involved, uh, there'll be no reason why you can't enjoy trading anything from Bitcoin to stocks in big tech companies right on XTB. And I am wrapping this one up, my friends. I kept this review pretty basic and short. Again, that link down below will get you the best trading fees and the best welcome offer for your area for XTB. And I'll see you in the next one.